Hello, Phil Singer Games fans, and welcome to a fun little episode that I'm doing today. Today, we are going to take a look at one of the Phil Singer Games collector's packs. Uh, this was sort of just a little package of goodies that uh, Tom um, sold on the website, um, and I think it was possibly even given away and was available at Galacticon. And it's just sort of this little collection of ephemera from Phil Singer Games, but it's also very, very cool. And there's some fun sort of retro stuff and uh, different things you can check out in this pack. So let's check this out. It comes in, of course, the classic Phil Singer Games envelope. Uh, I wish Phil Singer Games did the printing on the envelopes, but I'm sure that's just a cost uh, measure thing not doing it nowadays. But I always loved the pre-printed envelopes. Um, so let's check out what we have in here. There is a ton of fun stuff. All right. So first we are going to start with a Champions of the Galaxy flyer. Uh, this is a flyer that came out probably 89, 90. Um, and you can see it's got Star Warrior on the front there. And then it's got a little blurb of information about the first four um, game editions. And uh, then it's got a letter from Tom in the middle. And, uh, and then you got an order coupon. So this was just a little flyer that could be handed out or be sent in the mail. And then you could order your things and send them back. Also available in this uh, flyer is the classic Wolf t-shirt. Um, and then the accessories pack. So you can get the instruction booklet, the dice, the charts, all that kind of stuff um, when you order. Uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this, I have a PDF of all this stuff that is available for download, available for download. So if you want to follow along, if you want to check these things out and get a closer look at them, you can do that. The uh, link is just in the notes for this video. So uh, just check the uh, description down below and you will get to check it out. All right, now we also have uh, Champions of the Galaxy sticker window decals. I think these might be window decals. I don't want to peel them off. I want to keep them mint. Uh, but you can see it's got that classic Chuck Carter artwork. And uh, it's got that different version of Star Warrior where he's wearing a mask. It's got the uh, sort of gladiator version of Renegade when Renegade tried to join the gladiators. Um, and Massive without a shirt on, for those of you who are massive fans without a shirt. Uh, so there you go. That's a cool sticker. I've got two of those in this collector's pack. And then we have the classic Can You Face the Future of Wrestling uh, sticker with Spike on it. So very cool as well uh, sticker. Now, uh, if you know your Phil Singer Games history, you know that Tom originally was uh, pitching the game to like WWF. And um, so these are samples of what the original cards were that uh, Tom put together for that pitch. So we've got Tito Santana right there. We've got Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. We've got Magnificent Morocco. And then uh, one of the legends that would be, um, you know, one of the icons of the uh, Phil Singer Games Legends of Wrestling game, Jimmy Superfly Snuka. So you can see that the cards are very similar. Uh, you've got offense, defense, and, and, and one through six on each of them. You will notice that uh, for the ropes rating and ring rating, they're numbers, not letters. And they also, um, th there's no turnbuckle rating. There's no disqualification on here. Uh, there's no out of the ring. Well, I guess there's a ring rating, but you know what I'm saying. There's, there's things that are missing. No uh, strength and agility and stuff like that. But these are a lot of fun. I, I, I need to, what I need to do is, what I should have done before I started filming here, was get Jimmy Superfly's current Legends card and see how they compare uh, to these original ones. But that's very, very cool. We've got a postcard here uh, that was drawn by artist Larry Snelly, who drew a couple game editions. And you can see it's Larry and Tom. And this is a postcard that Tom would write a little message to you, send you in the mail. Hey, thanks for your sending in your match results, whatever it is. And it says, greetings from Tom and Larry at Federation headquarters. Um, so that is awesome. And then we've got two ballots for Sudden Death 2094 and 2095. 
Uh, if you're not familiar with these game editions, these game editions are where teams went against each other and then um, fans would send in who won the feud, who won the feud between Champions of the Galaxy and Destruction Incorporated and between War and the Gladiators, etc. And then the losers would supposedly be banished for two years. Um, I, I believe that was the original stipulation. Anyway, uh, these came with your game sets. Uh, you would just put your return address, put a stamp on there, and send it. I would love to know from Tom uh, how many of these he got. So, like, when, you know, uh, when 2094 came out, how many of these ballots did he get turned back? Was it, like, 50? Was it, like, 200? Uh, how many ballots? I would love to know. That would be an interesting question to ask Tom. Now, these are very cool. These are the original, well, not that, but these are these two things here are the original or early versions while Tom was developing the game of the out of the ring and into the ropes chart. So as you can see, very different from what it would later become. Um, and there's tons of choices here. And you can see that wrestlers would have a rating one through a rating six in order to, um, you know, to roll on this chart. And so I think you might be able to we might be able to even play a match with these cards because they've got the ropes rating and the rings rating and we've got the things right here. Maybe that, would you like to see that? Should we do that as a video? Let me know in the comments. That might be a fun little uh, activity to do is to play this classic version of the game with these classic charts. I don't know if that's been done on YouTube before. Uh, next, we have some ads, some classic ads from uh you know wrestling magazines um and uh, this is when phil singer games was in lindhurst ohio before jamestown uh so a fun little um thing here this obviously was around when the just the first edition was out um but it's got some quotes for some people here saying how much they love the game it tells you everything that comes with the game only 9.95 uh very nice uh here's another ad uh, I think an ad a lot of people are familiar with. And uh, Can You Face the Future of Wrestling? Uh, so this came out after the first two game editions uh, came out. Uh, the original game and then the Galaxian Invasion. Um, so very cool as well. Now this is really awesome. These are some, uh, the next couple pieces are original art. Uh, unused art. So here is a Chaos the Destroyer. I actually love this artwork. I love his outfit. I love that you can't see the lower half of his face. Uh, very cool. Um, looks like a big tough guy, Chaos the Destroyer. It's surprising that he hasn't shown up sort of in this outfit on Kronos or something like that because uh, this is just a really, really great artwork. Uh, here's some more fun artwork. Here is Mayhem over here, a version of Mayhem. And then here's this guy, who I'm not exactly sure who it is because it's not listed on here. If you know, you can leave it in the comments below. I always like to say that this is Plethidor's great-grandfather, that uh, uh, he tried out early, uh, didn't have a successful career, but tried, tried to start out in the wrestling biz. Uh, and then we have Hydra and Thunder here. We have Hydra and Thunder. Uh, Thunder looking a bit more beefy than uh, he would wind up becoming. Uh, and then Hydra, of course. Um, very cool pencil sketches. And then these are very cool. These are early drafts of two Champions of the Galaxy game cards. So here we have, if you look on the bottom, it says Omega. Uh, but then crossed out underneath, it says Space Eagle. So this is Omega. He was originally going to be Space Eagle. And uh, you can see there's uh, Tom did some notes here when he was working out the card. Uh, we've got the, the ropes, turnbuckle, ring, and death jump. But then we have a whole bunch of other little uh, things down here. We have PT, disc, which must be disqualification. We've got the agility and power. We have LR and then CR. Um, so not 100% sure what LR and CR are. Another great question to ask Tom. So we've got Omega or Space Eagles here. And then we have this wrestler is named Steel. But if we look at uh, the moves here, 
and look at the finisher, it says Spinecracker, and that was Renegade's finisher. So this could be an early version of Renegade. And if, uh, kind of, if you look at this, it's got the Cropper Slam, it's got the Illegal Choke. It kind of does sound a little bit like uh, Renegade. So uh, very cool to have these early versions of those game cards. Um, and then we go into some articles. We have some articles uh, about Phil Singer games um, uh, from different, uh, you know, different things. So uh, this is an MM product report, Champions of the Galaxy from, from Phil Singer games. And then it talks about uh, all the different, you know, talks about the thing and how much um, it costs and where you can order it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I do love that it says for more information, Right to Club Galactica headquarters, Mark and Bob Ashby, 60 Victory Lane. If you have not been uh, listening to Uncharted Territories series on the Club Galactica newsletters, you need to go do that because they're just so much fun. Uh, here's something from the Cuyahoga Community College, uh, and it's just sort of a, a press release from 1986, from October 31st, 1986, and this is Psych Teacher Invents Galaxy Game. So it is just sort of a little, um, you know, a little uh, a little blurb and a little press release about uh, Tom Filsinger and how uh, he was a psych teacher and he invented the game. And so fun little article to have. Again, all this stuff is in the PDF. So if you want to take your time and read it, you can. Gamers Emporium cards take you to another world. Uh, so this is about two different things. This is about Star Trek The Next Generation game. And then the second part of this article is about Champions of the Galaxy. And it gets a four-star rating, as you can see right there. Um, I don't know what this is from, but this is uh, what magazine this is from. But it's from September 29th, 1995. We've got an article from Inside Cleveland uh, for sophisticated wrestling fans. And so this little article about Tom and the game uh, from Inside Cleveland, which was obviously, I guess, a magazine or a newspaper or something like that. Um, but uh, there you go. Very cool. And that fun picture of Tom there standing in the middle of the ring. And then the very last thing here is uh, another little blurb sort of article from White Wolf Magazine. And uh, this is a... Um, a little article just about, uh, you know, about, uh, who is this part? Gruck, we, Gruck, I say toast him. This is definitely Larry Snelly's artwork. So it must be different things about Larry Snelly. Maybe this was an article about Larry Snelly. Because this sort of stuff around him doesn't have to be, uh, or isn't really much about, um, uh, about the game or anything. But we've got crack in there we've got death's head in there as well and then some other sort of beast or creature right there but anyway so very cool uh and there you go there that is all the stuff that is in sort of this collector's pack um this when this was marketed it was marketed as collector's pack one i don't believe there was ever a second collector's pack uh, another good question for Tom. Um, but very, very cool. Really awesome. Um, super cool to have this in my collection. Do you have this in your collection? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.